Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Cheeseboy628 here today giving you an Are You Dear Pokemon Showdown battle. And I was pretty excited to start doing another Are You battle as I was very excited to use Bufalant. After seeing Bufalant's stats, I was like, oh my gosh, I've definitely got to try this out. Because number one, there's two very usable abilities that Bufalant has, being Sap Zipper and Reckless. And in this case, I have a Choice Banded Reckless Bufalant. And I might want to switch it to Sap Zipper. I'm not sure, because that way it could take anything grass-wise. But I don't know. I'll think about it some other time. So for the rest of my team, though, I have a Specially Defensive Drudigan. I have a physically defensive, unaware Quagsire, and the reason it's physically defensive is because usually the biggest threats that can sweep my team would be like Gallade, and after a ton of sword stances, it's still not going to do anything to Quagsire, which is so awesome. And now for the rest of the team, there is a Scarf Magmortar. Uh, from what I hear, the Expert Belt Magmortar is what's in nowadays, but I say Scarf is where it's at. And then it has Vital Spirit so it can take Spore and all that for days. Then there is my Max HP, Max Special Attack, Modest Magneton with the Magnet Pull, as that is easily a way to get out all of the Escavaliers and Pharisees. And then finally I have a Physically Defensive Kabutops with Rapid Spin and Stealth Rock. I also carry Aqua Gen on it for those pokes that just live with that little sliver of HP that you need to get out of there. Although I do have Quagsire, it is nice to have some priority, and some people don't really like that idea since it's bulky, so it won't have that much power to it, but honestly, it's pretty effective. It can take out mole traces from a certain range, and then there are like those Focus Sash variants of certain pokes once they, you know, get a Shell Smash up and all that, so it's pretty effective, I think. Now looking at his team. Now looking at his team, Quagsire can take on just about his entire team, besides some grass moves from Tangrowth and a Bullet Seed from Sinchino. But other than that, Metacham. Metacham is a huge threat to this team, and my only counter to it is my Scarf Magmortar, since I'll be able to outspeed, and a Scarfed Overheat is definitely plenty to take out a Metacham. But yeah, other than that, I can... Toxic, stall, just about everything, unless Lantern is a Heal Bell variant, but even then, really an Earthquake from Quagsire or just a Banded hit from Bufalant should be able to take out that Lantern. So yeah, let's see how this battle goes. So I start with Bufalant since it's ridiculously bulky and it can take on just about anything, and the Sinchino misses the tail slap unfortunately but i don't think it mattered too much but yeah i'm able to straight up ko that Sinchino. so now the metacham comes in i'm like oh shoot maybe quagsire can take a hit nope that physically defensive quagsire barely lives and then it dies in the next hit i could have hoped for a high jump kick but it really doesn't matter wait that was a key play right there my mag mortar taking him out with the overheat he doesn't realize how vital that metacham was and yeah, that was really important to win this battle, hopefully. But yeah, now Tangros in here and Magneton is able to do a huge chunk with that HP fire. And yeah, since Tangrowth doesn't have that amazing special bulk. So now Magmortar comes in and I can threaten him out for sure. And I'm not going to mess around. I'm going to go for the overheat. And that lantern takes it pretty well. So it's probably specially defensive. So now the Dreadigan will come in here. And I think I can take any hit this Lantern has, especially since it's specially defensive as well as I am. So he doesn't have any investment. So I'm just going to go for the Glare, so I can cripple it a little bit. And he can go for Ice Beams for days, but I have the Earthquake actually. And unfortunately I do get quite a bit of Parahex here, but slowly but surely I will do a huge number on this Lantern. And as you can see there, I basically did half right there, so it's a solid 2 hit KO. But now, after I get a couple paras, it's going to look pretty darn close. I live with very little from that next Ice Beam, and I do take out that Lantern now though with the Earthquake, which is great. So, now the Tangrowth is in here, and I'm pretty fine with my Dredekin staying as Death Fodder. And I wanted to get some extra damage, but unfortunately, this Tangrowth 
is going to induce even more pair hacks on me. Now I want to save Dread again for Death Fodder, really. I bring in Meg Mortar, I can threaten him out, and really I go for the overheat here just to do a huge number on anything. Well, as you can see there, the Dread again is not specially defensive as it loses half of its life there. Now I bring in Kabutops in hopes to take some hits, and I mean, I do take one hit, which isn't too bad, but still, Dread again is so bulky and really powerful which is why I love it. So now Magmortar comes in here and I'm just gonna revenge kill with the T-Bolt as anything he switches in will still take some damage and this is why I saved Dread again as Death Fodder as he will take the Stone Edge. Now Bufalon comes in here and thankfully I do live the Flare Blitz and after all that recoil Entei faced I don't even die from my own recoil. So now I'm here to do a final bit of damage on that Tangrowth as I now die from recoil, but Mac Mortar comes in here, gonna go for the Fire Blast just because, and I will win the game with the 2-0 victory. So that was an awesome battle, Garn. Alright guys, thank you for watching as always. I think that was a decent battle. Honestly, it was probably the best battle I had yesterday, as a lot of people actually forfeit against this team. But one thing I did realize is that this team isn't very good against stall. Like if your team is two-thirds extremely defensive pokes, especially with a regenerator core, this team probably wouldn't survive that well. So also I forgot to note in the preview that Buffalant has enough speed to outspeed a four-speed EV wall rain. And that's because one of my first battles with this, I lost the battle because I didn't have enough speed to outspeed a stall rain, and so that was basically the game right there. So, other than that though, this is the complete team. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for watching, like, comment, sub, and until later, peace.